All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna make this meal, we're gonna do as much prep as possible, then sit down, and then one of you will come back with me and uh, finish this dish and present it. Y capalet mexicano, little Mexican hats, or sombreros. And when you see them, you, oh, they, will be they will be the cutest thing you've ever seen. We're gonna make a moon, and then a half moon, and then really, you need to conceptualize it as a smile. You think of the top lip, you want to overlap the top lip. So if I take it like this, and I overlap it like that, and then pinch it closed, mm -hmm. you know, it's a kind of a cone or a teepee, whatever you want to call that. And you put this down in the bottle, and you hit it. Pretty bloody good to me, Mr. O. We're going to treat our pasta as, as, if, it, as if it were pasta, which means you want to taste the pasta, not taste the sauce. The sauce needs to be really almost uh, Spartan when it, when it comes to dress it. We're going to put it into very, very salted water. It's going to cook about three or four minutes because it's so fresh. If, we were to make, if I were to make this for lunch, it would be probably eight, nine minutes at, at dinner to, to, to cook it. So we're also really salting the water because it's, the contact with the pasta is going to be so short. So it's going to have a lot of time to absorb. Pasta is always its own thing. Never have a salad, never have bread, never have any of those kind of things. You look at, look, watch someone from here eat pasta, they'll eat pasta, watch someone from abroad, they'll put a big old hunk of bread on the thing and eat starch with starch, which is very strange. Chicken thighs, the beauty of a chicken thigh is a chicken's uh, walk, right? So they're, 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 their breasts are not developed because they don't pump blood through because they don't fly, but they're always on the back leg. So the, the, the thighs have a lot of juice, a lot of meat, and a lot of flavor. So this is perfect. We're going to brown these radically. That big orange pot, you can see it's been on the flame now for, uh, for what, probably four or five minutes. We're going to get it smoking hot. Um, we're going to simmer this. We'll turn the flame way down and simmer it very slowly, about halfway submerged in red wine. So our, uh, our antipasto are these right here, which are called menanzane, uh, which uh, we're going to cut what I call uh, wigglicious, which, are, which means like that. <laughs> You need to be a grown up. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wasn't going to say that because I normally do. <laughs> we're going to grill these dry. So, no oil whatsoever, and then we're going to add raw oil after the fact. You want to cook your oil as little as possible. For your health and for your taste buds, eat your oil as raw as possible, use as little for cooking, and then put raw oil afterwards. Thanks very much for coming here, uh, and uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Nice shirt. Yeah. 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 Yeah.